BGP route collectors. BGP requires that all IBGP speakers be fully meshed. However, this requirement does not scale well when there are many IBGP speakers. One way to reduce the IBGP, IBGP mesh is to configure a route vector. And the other way at is actually configuration or configurations. <clears throat> the router would command neighbor route a uh, neighbor route is actually the actual command here. So neighbor route reflector client is the route reflector. And the neighbors at which the command points are the clients of that route reflector. <clears throat> the combination of the RR and the clients is a cluster. Other, other IBGP peers of the RR that are not clients are non-clients. Because there is a reflection, reflection of the IBGP uh, learned routes, there can be a routing information loop. Uh, the RR or the route reflector scheme has a few methods to avoid this loop. <clears throat> One is originator ID. This is an optional transitive BGP attribute that is four, long, four bytes long. An RR creates this attribute. The attribute carries the RR ID. Uh, no, that the RR ID, the router ID of the originator of the route in the local AS. If due to poor configuration, the routing information comes back to the originator, the information is ignored. And the second method to avoid this, the, uh, to avoid loops, is cluster list. This is used when our uh, when a route reflector used by a route reflector to drop the route when it sees its own uh, to drop a route when it sees its own router I mean cluster ID in the route. This is used uh, when you have multiple uh, route reflectors fully meshed to each other. <clears throat> okay, so. I have this topology here, and I actually already configured BGP on these waters. Just uh, normal, just uh, basic BGP configurations. So these are the BGP configuration on R1, and this is on R2, and this is on R3. <coughs> So let me just go back here. So in our topology, um, R1 is actually advertising. R1 is advertising this uh, IP address, host route, into BDP. But you know, according to that BGP rule, or what do you call it? BGP split horizon rule. Uh, when a route is, when a router learns that a route from another uh, IBGP neighbor, it will not advertise that route to another uh, IBGP neighbor. So in this case, uh, R1 is learning this route. I mean, not R1. R2 is learning this route. Uh, so this, these routers are in AS1, so meaning they are IBGP neighbors. So R2 will not advertise this route to R3. That's the, that's what the, that rule is saying, right? <laughs> and we can verify that by um of course going on going to r3 and just do a show ip bgp so we, you, you see here that this route is not in the bgp table and of course i have the configurations here as well and the verification commands so yeah 
So, so how can we get this route advertised to R3? So that's what uh, you know. Uh, this route reflector feature is used for. So we are going to configure it on R2 in this case. So the configuration is actually simple. So this is the configuration. So neighbor meaning that's R1 and you add this command here route reflector client so meaning you're making that you're making R1 as a route reflector client and this is R3 and you're making R3 as a route reflector client so I'm going to just copy and paste this command on R2 and now we should see uh, so the, the queuing went down and came back up. So now when we do that command, show IPDTP, now we see this route. And this is coming from R1. And I want to do this command here on R2. Yeah, so this is, so as you can see here, um, this route has a I in it, I mean next to it, so meaning internal. So this is learning, uh, R2 is learning it from a uh, IBGP neighbor in this case. So as we saw earlier, No, we did not try it. We just tried it, it on R3. Yeah. Um, that's fine. So, yeah, now uh, if we go to R3, we are learning this route. And next up is... Um, next up is... R1. correct <clears throat> so that's how you can uh, configure uh, route reflectors and I want to also before I end this video I just want to also do this command here just to make show you this uh, <clears throat> methods that route reflector is using to avoid loops so one is the originator, originator, and the other one is cluster. We discussed this, uh, uh, these items here, and how about this command? It's not that's not applicable here, and it doesn't work here. No, it's not supported in this uh, version. All right, yeah, that's how you can that's how you can configure um, a route reflector in your network.